Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Alan here. How's it going? It's been quite a while, but I finally have time to make some new videos. Today's topic is going to be about the NES, more specifically about how to mod your NES to make it region free. Now, every NES uh, has a lockout chip in it, which was uh, inserted into the console to prevent non-licensed game, uh, games to be played on it. Um, the problem is that if you have a um, NES and you want to play games from a, another region, let's say you have a NTSC version and you want to play a PAL game, uh, you won't be able to because the chip, the lockout chip, will think that this is a non-licensed game. And so to bypass this, uh, I'm going to show you how to mod it. Um, now there are three different methods uh, to mod your uh, NES. One is to um, cut off a pin of a the lockout chip and then solder this to a ground, which would be the opposite pin, pin 13, on the same chip. Another one would be to unsolder the whole pin, bend over pin 4, solder it back onto uh, the motherboard and then solder um, pin 4 to ground, so to pin 13 on the same chip. Um, I don't really like doing this uh, because I mean I could potentially break the pins, break the chip um, and I don't like breaking my stuff especially in the consoles. So I'm going to show you uh, a simple method uh, which doesn't involve touching the um, lockout chip at all. It's just you're just gonna need Two wires, a small one and a big one, and we're gonna solder that on the motherboard. So um, to show you it's working, back here I have Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link running on my PAL um, NES. So now I'm gonna put in um, Batman. As you can see, it says USA here. I mean, that's the seal for the NTSC. Uh, versions of the games. I'm gonna put it uh, into the console, uh, turn it on and you'll see uh, that it's not working. So the console is on um, and the only thing that's happening is a black screen and a red light on the NES. And the thing is that the lockout chip, uh, when it thinks that uh, the game is an unlicensed game, it will make the CPU um, reboot every two seconds. And that's why um, it won't load and why the, the blinking is happening. And so I'm going to show you how to mod it and the only thing you're going to need are a big and a small wire, solder and a soldering iron. Okay, so if you want to see how to open um, your NAS and how to uh, have access to the motherboard, I have a video, it's going to be somewhere here on screen. Uh, that you can watch, it's about how to open and clean your NES. So go watch this video if you want to know how to open it. And we're gonna, we're gonna go straight to the motherboard. Okay, so here's the motherboard, I took my NES apart. And uh, the cables are gonna be soldered in this area right here. I'm gonna put a picture on where to exactly put the soldering, so uh, don't worry. Gonna highlight them in red or so. And yeah, the only thing you're gonna have to do is just put some solder on the pins, put the cable on it, and then solder it uh, together. So I'm gonna do that, gonna put my uh, NES back together, and we're gonna try Batman, see if it works. Okay, so that's how it look li looks like. Two cables soldered to the back of the um, motherboard. Now I'm gonna put the NES back together. We're gonna try Batman and Super Mario Bros. 3, which is also a American version, and we'll see if it works or not. See you soon. Okay, so I've put back uh, the NES together. Uh, we're still gonna try a PAL game first, which is uh, Super Mario Bros. Um, so it's in the, the console, we're gonna start the console, let's see if it's work, if it works. And nothing happens. Okay my bad, I, I forgot to to plug in uh, 
the, the console, the cable in the back. So uh, let's try again. And it started. Let's see if it, it's working. All one. So as you can see, the PAL game still works. Um, we're gonna try a NTSC game now. So bear with me. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Seems to work, seems to work. Okay, okay. One, one player. Guys, this is amazing. Let, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, okay, Mario, Super Mario is working. Let's try the Little Mermaid. Guys. What can I say more? What can I say more? It's working. Okay, to be really sure, let's try out the third game, which is Batman. If only I could remember where I put that. Okay, found it. It was on the ground beneath my desk. Anyways, let's try Batman. It's working. It's working. Okay guys, so really nice method to make your NES region free. It's really easy. Just have to solder two wires on your NES. Again, I'm gonna put the diagram, I mean the picture of the motherboard and highlight which uh, pins have to be connected together. Um, again, you just need some solder, some solder iron. If you can't do that, ask someone who can. And you'll be able to play imports, unlicensed games, everything. Okay, so if you liked the video, uh, press that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm gonna make more videos uh, like that. Uh, in the future, um, again, I have more time now. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any questions, um, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. And as always, keep on gaming. Bye.